chapters 16 through 20 of Exodus from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapters 16 through 20 of the Book of Exodus from the Young's Literal Translation. Chapter 16. And they journey from Elim, and all the company of the sons of Israel come in unto the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month of their going out from the land of Egypt. And all the company of the sons of Israel murmur against Moses and against Aaron in the wilderness, and the sons of Israel say unto them, Oh, that we had died by the hand of Jehovah in the land of Egypt! in our sitting by the flesh-pot, in our eating bread to satiety, for ye have brought us out unto this wilderness to put all this assembly to death with hunger. And Jehovah saith unto Moses, Lo, I am raining to you bread from the heavens, and the people have gone out and gathered the matter of a day in its day, so that I try them whether they walk in my law or not. And it hath been on the sixth day that they have prepared that which they bring in, and it hath been double above that which they gather day by day. And Moses saith, Aaron also, unto all the sons of Israel, Evening, and ye have known that Jehovah hath brought you out from the land of Egypt, and morning, and ye have seen the honor of Jehovah in his hearing your murmurings against Jehovah, and what are we that ye murmur against us? And Moses saith, in Jehovah's giving to you in the evening flesh to eat, and bread in the morning to satiety, in Jehovah's hearing your murmurings which ye are murmuring against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against Jehovah. And Moses saith unto Aaron, Say unto all the company of the sons of Israel, Come ye near before Jehovah, for he hath heard your murmurings. And it cometh to pass, when Aaron is speaking unto all the company of the sons of Israel, that they turn towards the wilderness, and, lo, the honor of Jehovah is seen in the cloud. And Jehovah speaketh unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the sons of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, Between the evenings ye eat flesh, and in the morning ye are satisfied with bread, and ye have known that I am Jehovah your God. And it cometh to pass in the evening, that the quail cometh up, and covereth the camp. And in the morning there hath been the lying of dew round about the camp. And the lying of the dew goeth up, and lo, on the face of the wilderness, a thin bare thing, thin as hoarfrost on the earth. And the sons of Israel see, and say one unto another, What is it? For they have not known what it is. And Moses saith unto them, it is the bread which Jehovah hath given to you for food. This is the thing which Jehovah hath commanded. Gather of it each according to his eating, an omer for a pole. And the number of your persons take ye each for those in his tent. And the sons of Israel do so, and they gather, he who is gathering much, and he who is gathering little. And they measure with an omer, and he who is gathering much hath nothing over, and he who is gathering little hath no lack each according to his eating they have gathered. And Moses saith unto them, Let no man leave of it till morning. And they have not hearkened unto Moses, and some of them do leave of it till morning, and it bringeth up worms, and stinketh, and Moses is wroth with them. And they gather it morning by morning, each according to his eating. When the sun hath been warm, then it hath melted. And it cometh to pass on the sixth day they have gathered a second bread, two omers for one, and all the princes of the company come in, and declare to Moses. And he saith unto them, It is that which Jehovah hath spoken of, a rest, a holy sabbath to Jehovah, is to-morrow, that which ye bake, bake, and that which ye boil, boil. And all that is over, let rest for yourselves in charge till the morning. And they let it rest until the morning, as Moses hath commanded, and it hath not stank, and a worm hath not been in it. And Moses saith, Eat it to-day, for to-day is a sabbath to Jehovah. To-day ye find it not in the field. Six days ye do gather it, and in the seventh day, the sabbath, in it there is none. And it cometh to pass on the seventh day, some of the people have gone out to gather, and have not found. And Jehovah saith unto Moses, How long have ye refused to keep my commands and my laws? See, because Jehovah hath given to you the sabbath, Therefore he is giving to you on the sixth day bread of two days. 
Abide ye each in his place. No one doth go out from his place on the seventh day. And the people rest on the seventh day, and the house of Israel call its name manna, and it is as coriander seed, white, and its taste is as a cake with honey. And Moses saith, This is the thing which Jehovah hath commanded. Fill the omer with it, for a charge for your generations, so that they see the bread which I have caused you to eat in the wilderness, in my bringing you out from the land of Egypt. And Moses saith unto Aaron, Take one pot, and put there the fullness of the omer of manna, and let it rest before Jehovah, for a charge for your generations. As Jehovah hath given commandment unto Moses, so doth Aaron let it rest before the testimony for a charge. And the sons of Israel have eaten the manna forty years, until their coming in unto the land to be inhabited, the manna they have eaten till their coming in unto the extremity of the land of Canaan. And the omer is a tenth of the ephah. Chapter 17 And all the company of the sons of Israel journey from the wilderness of Sin, on their journeyings, by the command of Jehovah, and encamp in Rephidim, and there is no water for the people to drink. And the people strive with Moses, and say, Give us water, and we drink. And Moses saith to them, What? Ye strive with me? What? Ye try Jehovah? And the people thirst there for water, and the people murmur against Moses, and say, Why is this? Thou hast brought us up out of Egypt, to put us to death, also our sons and our cattle with thirst. And Moses crieth to Jehovah, saying, what do I to this people, yet a little, and they have stoned me? And Jehovah saith unto Moses, Pass over before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, and thy rod with which thou hast smitten the river, take in thy hand, and thou hast gone. Lo, I am standing before thee there on the rock in Horeb, and thou hast smitten on the rock, and waters have come out from it, and the people have drunk. And Moses doth so before the eyes of the elders of Israel. And he calleth the name of the place Massa and Meribah, because of the strife of the sons of Israel, and because of their trying Jehovah, saying, Is Jehovah in our midst or not? And Amalek cometh, and fighteth with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses saith unto Joshua, Choose for us men, and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I am standing on the top of the hill, and the rod of God in my hand. And Joshua doth, as Moses hath said to him, to fight with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur have gone up to the top of the height. And it hath come to pass, when Moses lifteth up his hand, that Israel hath been mighty. And when he letteth his hands rest, that Amalek hath been mighty. And the hands of Moses are heavy, and they take a stone, and set it under him, and he sitteth on it. And Aaron and Hur have taken hold on his hands, on this side one, and on that one, and his hands are steadfast till the going in of the sun. And Joshua weakeneth Amalek and his people by the mouth of the sword. And Jehovah saith unto Moses, Write this a memorial in a book, and set it in the ears of Joshua, that I do utterly wipe away the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens. And Moses buildeth an altar, and calleth its name, Jehovah Nisi, and saith, Because a hand is on the throne of Jah, war is to Jehovah with Amalek from generation, generation. Chapter 18 And Jethro, priest of Midian, father-in-law of Moses, heareth all that God hath done for Moses and for Israel his people, that Jehovah hath brought out Israel from Egypt. And Jethro, father-in-law of Moses, taketh Zipporah, wife of Moses, besides her parents and her two sons, of whom the name of the one is Gershom. For he said, A sojourner I have been in a strange land. And the name of the other is Eliezer, for the God of my father is for my help, and doth deliver me from the sword of Pharaoh. And Jethro, father-in-law of Moses, cometh and his sons and his wife unto Moses, unto the wilderness where he is encamping the mount of God. And he saith unto Moses, I, thy father-in-law Jethro, am coming unto thee, and thy wife and her two sons with her. And Moses goeth out to meet his father-in-law, and boweth himself, and kisseth him, and they ask one at another of welfare, and come into the tent. 
and moses recounteth to his father-in-law all that jehovah hath done to pharaoh and to the egyptians on account of israel all the travail which hath found them in the way and jehovah doth deliver them and jethro rejoiceth for all the good which jehovah hath done to israel whom he hath delivered from the hand of the egyptians and jethro saith blessed is jehovah who hath delivered you from the hand of the egyptians and from the hand of pharaoh who hath delivered this people from under the hand of the egyptians now i have known that jehovah is greater than all the gods for in the thing they have acted proudly he is above them and jethro father-in-law of moses taketh a burnt offering and sacrifices for god and aaron cometh in and all the elders of israel to eat bread with the father-in-law of moses before god and it cometh to pass on the morrow that moses sitteth to judge the people and the people stand before moses from the morning unto the evening and the father-in-law of moses seeth all that he is doing to the people and saith what is this thing which thou art doing to the people wherefore art thou sitting by thyself and all the people standing by thee from morning till evening and moses saith to his father-in-law because the people come unto me to seek god when they have a matter it hath come unto me and i have judged between a man and his neighbor and made known the statutes of god and his laws and the father-in-law of moses saith unto him the thing which thou art doing is not good thou dost surely wear away both thou and this people which is with thee for the thing is too heavy for thee thou art not able to do it by thyself now hearken to my voice i counsel thee and god is with thee be thou for the people over against god and thou hast brought in the things unto god and thou hast warned them concerning the statutes and the laws and hast made known to them the way in which they go and the work which they do and thou thou dost provide out of all the people men of ability fearing god men of truth hating dishonest gain and hast placed these over them heads of thousands heads of hundreds heads of fifties and heads of tens and they have judged the people at all times and it hath come to pass every great matter they bring in unto thee and every small matter they judge themselves and lighten it from off thyself and they have borne with thee if thou dost this thing and god hath commanded thee then thou hast been able to stand and all this people also goeth in unto its place in peace and moses hearkeneth to the voice of his father-in-law and doth all that he said and moses chooseth men of ability out of all israel and maketh them chiefs over the people heads of thousands heads of hundreds heads of fifties and heads of tens and they have judged the people at all times the hard matter they bring in unto moses and every small matter they judge themselves and moses sendeth his father-in-law away and he goeth away unto his own land chapter nineteen in the third month of the going out of the sons of israel from the land of egypt in this day they have come into the wilderness of sinai and they journey from rephidim and enter the wilderness of sinai and encamp in the wilderness and israel encampeth there before the mount and moses hath gone up unto god and jehovah calleth unto him out of the mount saying thus dost thou say to the house of jacob and declare to the sons of israel ye ye have seen that which i have done to the egyptians and i bear you on eagles wings and bring you in unto myself and now if ye really hearken to my voice then ye have kept my covenant and been to me a peculiar treasure more than all the peoples for all the earth is mine and ye ye are to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which thou dost speak unto the sons of israel and moses cometh and calleth for the elders of the people and setteth before them all these words which jehovah hath commanded him and all the people answer together and say all that jehovah hath spoken we do and moses returneth the words of the people unto jehovah and jehovah saith unto moses lo i am coming unto thee in the thickness of the cloud so that the people hear in my speaking with thee and also believe in thee to the age and moses declareth the words of the people unto jehovah and jehovah saith unto moses go unto the people and thou hast sanctified them to-day and to-morrow and they have washed their garments and have been prepared for the third day 
for on the third day doth jehovah come down before the eyes of all the people on mount sinai and thou hast made a border for the people round about saying take heed to yourselves going up into the mount or coming against its extremity whoever is coming against the mount is certainly put to death a hand cometh not against him for he is certainly stoned or shot through whether beast or man it liveth not in the drawing out of the jubilee cornet they go up into the mount and moses cometh down from the mount unto the people and sanctifieth the people and they wash their garments and he saith unto the people be ye prepared for the third day come not nigh unto a woman and it cometh to pass on the third day while it is morning that there are voices and lightnings and a heavy cloud on the mount and the sound of a trumpet very strong and all the people who are in the camp do tremble and moses bringeth out the people to meet god from the camp and they station themselves at the lower part of the mount and mount sinai is wholly a smoke from the presence of jehovah who hath come down on it in fire and its smoke goeth up as smoke of the furnace and the whole mount trembleth exceedingly and the sound of the trumpet is going on and very strong moses speaketh and god doth answer him with a voice and jehovah cometh down on mount sinai unto the top of the mount and jehovah calleth for moses unto the top of the mount and moses goeth up and jehovah saith unto moses go down protest to the people lest they break through unto jehovah to see and many of them have fallen and also the priests who are coming nigh unto jehovah do sanctify themselves lest jehovah break forth on them and moses saith unto jehovah the people is unable to come up unto mount sinai for thou thou hast protested to us saying make a border for the mount then thou hast sanctified it and jehovah saith unto him go descend then thou hast come up thou and aaron with thee and the priests and the people do not break through to come up unto jehovah lest he break forth upon them and moses goeth down unto the people and saith unto them chapter twenty and god speaketh all these words saying i am jehovah thy god who hath brought thee out of the land of egypt out of a house of servants thou hast no other gods before me thou dost not make to thyself a graven image or any likeness which is in the heavens above or which is in the earth beneath or which is in the waters under the earth thou dost not bow thyself to them nor serve them for i jehovah thy god am a zealous god charging iniquity of fathers on sons on the third generation and on the fourth of those hating me and doing kindness to thousands of those loving me and keeping my commands thou dost not take up the name of jehovah thy god for a vain thing for jehovah acquitteth not him who taketh up his name for a vain thing remember the sabbath day to sanctify it six days thou dost labor and hast done all thy work and on the seventh day is a sabbath to jehovah thy god thou dost not do any work thou and thy son and thy daughter thy manservant and thy handmaid and thy cattle and thy sojourner who is within thy gates for six days hath jehovah made the heavens and the earth the sea and all that is in them and resteth in the seventh day therefore hath jehovah blessed the sabbath day and doth sanctify it honor thy father and thy mother so that thy days are prolonged on the ground which jehovah thy god is giving to thee thou dost not murder thou dost not commit adultery thou dost not steal thou dost not answer against thy neighbor a false testimony thou dost not desire the house of thy neighbor thou dost not desire the wife of thy neighbor or his manservant or his handmaid or his ox or his ass or anything which is thy neighbor's and all the people are seeing the voices and the flames and the sound of the trumpet and the mount smoking and the people see and move and stand afar off and say unto moses speak thou with us and we hear and let not god speak with us lest we die and moses saith unto the people fear not for to try you hath god come and in order that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not and the people stand afar off and moses hath drawn nigh unto the thick darkness where god is and jehovah saith unto moses thus dost thou say unto the sons of israel ye 
ye have seen that from the heavens i have spoken with you ye do not make with me gods of silver even gods of gold ye do not make to yourselves an altar of earth thou dost make for me and thou hast sacrificed on it thy burnt offerings and thy peace offerings thy flock and thy herd in every place where i cause my name to be remembered i come in unto thee and have blessed thee and if an altar of stones thou dost make to me thou dost not build them of hewn work when thy tool thou hast waved over it then thou dost pollute it neither dost thou go up by steps on mine altar that thy nakedness be not revealed upon it the end of chapters sixteen through twenty of the book of exodus from the young's literal translation recording by mark penfold